Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at some of the best shortcuts that you can get for your iOS 17 device. Most of these will actually be very, very useful and you will probably find yourself using a lot of these. They will make your life easier and allow you to do much more with your iPhone. And we're starting things off with a very interesting one. Actually, this will work only on the new iPhones with the action button. It is called all in one. So basically it is a shortcut which you can run through the action button and it allows you to do a lot of things in one place. So as soon as I press and hold the action button here, I will get this menu from where I can go to the silent mode, take a screenshot, enable the flashlight, go to the camera, turn off a focus mode, record a voice memo, or just get the actually the details regarding my device. Not to set this up, all you have to do is just head on to your settings. And from here, of course, go to the action button and just move here to the shortcut section and just, of course, tap there and select from your shortcuts, select all in one, and you're good to go. Then all you have to do is just press and hold here to invoke the menu and get all these actions in one place. Set volume is up next. Now this is a new shortcut that Apple has added to iOS 17. It allows you to set the volume for your media or your ring. So basically your ringtone or your media, you can set the volume at any percentage you want simply by using this shortcut. So if we tap on the three dots right there, you can see we can edit this shortcut. So when you add it, you can set it up and then afterwards you can also edit it by just tapping the three dots. So you have set here where it says ringtone, you can tap and choose what you wanna set, whether you wanna do media or the ringtone and then set the percentage of the volume right here using the slider. And at any time you wanna set the ringtone or the media volume at that percentage, you simply run this shortcut. Open camera is another one that Apple has added to iOS 17. Well, they have done some improvements for the camera shortcut. Now you can just open any camera mode you want using a shortcut. So you just simply search for open camera or you can just download this from the links that I will leave in the pinned comment and then you tap the three dots right here and you will be able to choose any mode of your camera that you want. So right there where it says cinematic, I can just tap here and just choose any of the camera modes, time lapse, whatever I want, tap the dumb button and actually once I run this, it will just go straight to the camera mode. Next up is switch between wallpapers. This is another new shortcut for iOS 17. It allows us to quickly switch to another wallpaper. So here I have this wallpaper set up on my home screen. I can just tap this and once it's done in a second there, I will have a new wallpaper. Now to set this up, once you have installed this shortcut, you tap the three dots. Of course, every time I say you tap the three dots, you will actually get this prompt once you first install the shortcut. So afterwards, if you want to change it, you go to the three dots. So switch to where it says wallpaper three, you tap there and it shows you all the wallpapers that you have on your device. And I can just go ahead and pick any one of them, click done. And then once I run this shortcut, it will switch to that wallpaper. Next up is add portrait effect. Now this is a pretty cool shortcut that allows us to add portrait effect to the photos which don't have the portrait effect. You simply run the shortcut and just select a picture from your camera roll. And once you have loaded the picture, it will show you a few options here. So you will have the intensity of the blur that you want to add in the background of the subject. So we can go with medium or strong or intense, whichever one we want. In a couple of seconds here, it will show you the result. Now you have a normal photo turned into a portrait photo. And of course, from here, you can tap the share button and save this under your camera roll. Now this right here is pretty cool and actually very, very useful. It is called Shazam Save. Now once you install this shortcut, it will go through a setup. It will ask you whether you want to use reminders or notes and then whether you use Apple Music or you use Spotify. What it does when you run it, it will actually run Shazam. It will recognize the song that is playing, but it will also save it on the notes app for you even the link to Spotify or the Apple Music app, whichever one you use. So let's just tap always allow here and now you're good to go. If we tap the shortcut right there, we can go now to the notes app and take a look at the link that it has saved. So there it goes. You can see it has saved right here the song we were listening to the title of the song, of course, the name of the artist, and it also has the link to Spotify right there, which is really awesome. Battery life is up next. Now, this is a simple shortcut that tells you how much time you have left with the battery percentage that you have currently on your device. So if I run the shortcut, you can see right there, it shows me remaining usage time is 11 hours 
53 minutes as easy as that now of course this will depend what you do in the next few hours if you play like a heavy game or something like that it will of course reduce the battery time that you will have but this is an approximate of the time that you have to use your iphone with the current charge that you have this is another battery shortcut that I really like. It is called charge time and it shows you how much time there is left until your iPhone is charged at 100%. Simply run the shortcut from here. You can see it says your phone in this case at a 99%. It will take two minutes to charge at 100%, which is really awesome at any time you wanna know how much time you need to charge your iPhone fully, just run this shortcut. Here we have another great shortcut. It is called flashlight timer. This allows you to turn on the flashlight, but with a timer. So it will stay on until that timer goes off. So we run the shortcut, we can type any minutes we want there, or we can choose one of the presets. Now, if I run it right here, you will notice here the flashlight will be turned on and it will actually stay on for five minutes after five minutes this shortcut will turn off the flashlight by itself so it's very very convenient anytime you need the timer for your shortcut for your iphone actually just run this shortcut next up we have a couple of pdf shortcuts if you have a large pdf file with a lot of pages but you, you need just a few of them you can actually extract any pages you want out of that pdf file so just run the shortcut and once you have done that you just simply select any pdf file that you have on your files app and choose what you want to extract a few pages or more most of the pages let's just go with a few and let's select the the pages in this case we have seven pages on that pdf file so I, let's say i want to extract the, the page number two and three tab there click the done button and then we have only the first two pages that we can actually extract out of this pdf that we had saved on the files app Next up is PDF to image. This allows you to convert any PDF you want into an image file. So the easiest way to do that is simply run the shortcut and just select any PDF that you have saved on your files app. And once you have done that, it will automatically convert it and save it as an image on the camera roll of your device. Email to myself is the next shortcut for this video. Now, how many times you save something by just emailing it to yourself? Well, that takes some work, but with this shortcut, it will actually be very, very easy. Once you have the shortcut installed on your device, when you install it, it will ask you for your email. Once you have done that, then you're good to go. You can use it from the share sheet. So I can simply tap here if I want to just send this link to myself, tap the share sheet, and then I will have email to myself. Simply tap there and it will show your email there to choose from. If you have a couple of emails, it will show both of them. You can just choose in which one you want to email it. And as you can see, it just did email that link to my email. Set audio output is the next shortcut for this video. And this one is very useful if you have multiple devices and you just sometimes want to stream audio to another device. So here for my iPhone, if I just want to stream, let's say to my mag there i can create this shortcut which will do that in a second so if i just tap here it will start actually streaming to my mac as easy as that now the way you set this up you add of course the shortcut and then you tap the three dots right here and tap right here where it says playback destination you tap there and it will show you all of your devices and you can pick to which one you want to stream using this shortcut and once you tap on it it will automatically start outputting audio to that device scan document is another new shortcut that apple has added to ios 17. it just opens a document scanner and automatically saves it to the files app so if i just want to scan something all i have to do here is just run this shortcut it will take me to the scanner from here i can just scan anything i want and simply keep the scan it will automatically save it to the files app Orientation lock is the next one for the video. This one allows to easily enable the orientation lock. So if I just run it like that, I can just go ahead and enable orientation lock, run it again, and you can see right here, it will turn it off. Now you can choose what you want to do with this. If you tap the three dots, you can choose whether you want to toggle it, which means that once you run it, it will turn it on. The second time it will turn it off. Or if you just want, don't want to do that, you can just tap on turn and choose whether this shortcut will turn on or off the orientation lock for your device now this is pretty useful if you use it with the action button you can actually turn on or off the orientation lock very quickly 
Location time is the last shortcut for this video. With this shortcut, you can know in seconds the time on any place on the world. You just simply tap the shortcut, type a name here. So let's just go with Tokyo, tap done, and it will just show you right here a notification and shows you the exact time on any place you want to know. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are some of the best shortcuts that you can get for a device running iOS 17. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next one.